Welcome, my night outers. DJ Psycho Eddie here for another installment of My Night Out Radio. In studio tonight, we have Jessica Hines from Artful Expressions. Hello. How you doing? Also, don't forget, we have making us sounding wonderful, Tony Jones. Am I going to leave this program uh, starving like I normally do? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> because I was actually able to go out and eat. Before we get started, though... The song you listened to on the way in was Whiskey Fire, the name of the song, War and Glory. Uh, Sam Cram, the singer of Whiskey Fire, awesome voice. She's been in studio here a couple months ago, actually. But it's always a pleasure when you're catching any of the bands. But, you know, some of them are better live than others. And they are they always put an amazing show. Um, I'm going to put you in the hot seat right off the bat. Now... Being a show that focuses around hospitality, food is paramount. Now, I've been out to eat a couple of times this week. I'll tell you one of them, and, and I'm going to tick off a few friends <laughs> right off the bat. Right in West Warwick, Ye Express. Now, I, I always preach the uh, the glories of House of Wu. This is almost a block and a half from House of Wu. So you know, they're, they're stepping on each other's toes. They're invading each other's turf, but... They have sushi at Yee Express, which is amazing. I mean, some of the newer styles, they, they're using the, uh, the rice paper and the soybean paper versus the rice, but they're also using the rice as well. Um, some of their higher end or the, or the more eclectic rolls, I, that's what I go for, and the, the food there was amazing. Of course, you know, you have the, uh, the lemongrass chicken wings or the mushy pork or, or whatever it is. Every time I've gone there, it's always been a very fresh, very very uh, clean flavor to it. it. It's not muddled with that, you know, the, the secret brown sauce that's on everything. <laughs> it, it's a really, really good Chinese restaurant. 
Uh, and of course, I don't want to take it away from Jay Wu, Doctor Wu. If you need a scorpion bowl, he is your <laughs> man. Um, I didn't visit him this week, but I, I just want to get out there, Jay. We still love you, brother. Um, so, what about you, Jess? Where have you been recently? Recently, um, actually, about a week ago. So, the most recent place was Remington House in Warwick. Okay, what'd you get there? I got sun-dried tomato chicken with goat cheese, and I can't remember what else was in there. I think there was some spinach in there okay. with mashed potatoes. Now, for those of you who do not know Jess, uh, I just found this out recently. She is a born-again vegan. She she was a ve- vegetarian. vegetarian. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, I tried I to make you. it sound worse, and then you know you came back. <laughs> you came back to the meat-eating side. I did. <laughs> well, another place... Another local place uh, right in, uh, over the Coventry line uh, is Paglarini's Family Restaurant and Pizza. Okay. Um, you haven't been there, have no, you? I have not it's been there. tucked away right next to the Family Dollar in, in, in a shopping mall, a uh, strip mall. It doesn't look like much from the outside. You know, it's very, very uh, utilitarian on the inside. It's plain, you know, you're not going there for, for the ambiance, you're going there for good food. The food there is amazing. Um, I've had everything from their focaccia, the white pizza, pizzas in general. Um, this time I went, I got a uh, a cheeseburger grinder, which I'm always a sucker for a cheeseburger grinder. <laughs> and uh, they did absolutely right. Smothered in cheese. It, it, it definitely was a heart attack. <laughs> I, 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 did, I did eyeball where the, uh, the defibrillator was mounted on the wall so I could sit somewhere near there because I knew that's what I, I was getting. Now, do they put multiple burgers in? Yes. Okay, because like I was wondering two, how they would fill the whole large, grinder. With, okay. On a large grinder, they're probably putting like two to three hamburgers <laughs> oh, worth of meat. Oh, God. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, that's, of course, that's a lot of, of meat. Of course, there's vegetables. There's a little bit of lettuce, <laughs> a, toma- a tomato or two, and some mayonnaise to make it all slide down a lot better um the only other one i i i reached a personal goal today um everyone knows this i'm a bit on the fluffy side (laughs) tony's laughing because i'm downplaying it very bad um i i have just reached 60 pounds of weight lost i've been able to do that while still going out to eat uh anna if you're listening anna from ideal protein in coventry you did a phenomenal job with me. I don't know how I'm doing it, but you know, once I hit 60 pounds, you have to celebrate, of course. So, of yes. course, I go to an all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet <laughs> because, dang it, I want to do it again. Good for but, you. But, yeah, the Hong Kong Buffet in Cranston on Cranston Street, right next to Casali's Liquors, I stopped there today, as a matter of fact. Um, it was also my wife's birthday, so, you know, celebrating my weight, her her birthday, everything all at once, and... Yeah, get back to Good get times. back to getting back to it on uh, Monday. So, well, switching gears really quickly, Jess, you run Artful Expressions. Yes. What is Artful Expressions? Artful Expressions is um, an art studio, and I do private classes for children, and I also do paint nights and some craft nights for adults as well. Okay, paint nights and craft nights for adults. Yes. When you specify that, does that mean is there or could there be alcohol involved? They do a BYOB. Oh, yes. right. So it's you, you're not serving it to them. No. They, they have to bring their own. Yes. Not a problem. Do you have a cooler <laughs> that's big enough for <laughs> no. a case of beer? <laughs> no. <laughs> you have to supply it's, your own it's cooler. A, it's a limited. I mean, you know, to be honest with you, um, when people come in, it's it's pretty surprising how like in tune they are with the painting once they get started okay. and they kind of forget about a lot of stuff. I, it's, I've, I've it's personally never done a, uh, a paint and wine night, a wine yes. and paint night. Um, my wife, my sisters, they go. And I always hear about the martinis or whatever. I, the, the paintings, they always downplay. But it's always about the martinis. And I guess that's, <laughs> that might just be why I am the way I am. But you do offer that. You offer the classes. Yes. Um, how did you get started? Um, opening the business or it, just in general in with general, art? In general. Um, I've just always been obsessed with art since I was like five. And um, I just always took private classes. And I took a lot of private classes in high school, went to college for art. And um, then I started teaching 17 years ago, and I fell in love with teaching. And 
last year, well, almost a year and a half ago in July, I just drove by on Main Street, drove by a space, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. And I, I did. I had been wanting to do it for a little while, and, you know, fear kind of held me back, and um, it was just a good spot, and I tried good it spot, out. Good spot, right time, and yeah. you just jumped in. It- Absolutely jumped right in. In, like, two days, I just started making all the phone calls and literally did not give it a second thought. Good. Well, we're going to take a break. We're going to get into a lot more depth. Uh, But for now, we're going to go with 51 Shortfalls, the name of the song, The Better Part of Me. We'll be back in a minute. You're listening to My Night Out Radio. Too long. You bring out the better part. 